Hi, I'm Bill from Long Island Hot Tub, outdoor living expert. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, startup chemicals. So in our box, uh, we get the basic startup chemicals. We like to use our tubs uh, with the mineral system. So these are mineral and bromine cartridges. Also in the box is a pH increaser, pH decreaser, and spa shock. There's also a measuring cup inside and instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the uh, spa frog, this small box. And basically this has all the things that you need for regular maintenance. So we're going to start with um, the spa startup. Open this up and put it in. Then we're going to take out our mineral cartridge, which is this blue one. Um, you can adjust the amount of um, uh, minerals that come out of this by simply twisting the top. And so it goes from zero to six. We always like to have it set at five, so I'm going to set it to five right now and just place it in the floating holder. This will last for three months. This one is bromine. Same thing, the top twists. And so six is the highest amount of chemicals, zero is no chemicals. We're gonna set it initially at three and then test the water after a day and then adjust it from there. So if it, your uh, bromine is a little bit too high, you'll uh, knock it down to two. If it's a little bit low, you can raise it up a little bit, but that's how you regulate how much bromine goes in. This is more or less a passive system and it goes right here in the uh, filter area. So you simply take this, this top off, literally just grab it from the side and pick it up. And then this just drops right in. Um, that can go back in. To check the chemicals, we use these dip strips. And so you just follow the instructions on the outside. But basically you take this dip strip, says to dip it in the water, wait 15 seconds and then compare it. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do. We'll dip it in, hold it flat for 15 seconds, and while we're waiting, uh, we're gonna actually match it up to, uh, to the colors on each one of this. So the top one is for the amount of bromine, the next one is for the amount of pH, and the bottom one is for total alkalinity. And so matching it up right now, my, uh, my bromine level is a little bit low, my pH is perfect, and my total alkalinity is perfect. If you're getting city water, it should come out pretty close to the same results. Um, so that's the, uh, uh, the test strips. If you do need to increase or decrease bromine and alkalinity, you use these two products. If it's a little bit low, you'll put a cap full of this in. If it's a little bit uh, high, put a cap full of this in. And then give it 24 hours, test it again, and try and balance it out. We do recommend, after you use it, put in some shock. And so if it's just one person in there, light bather, bather load, maybe just a half, half a cap full. So I literally just take the cap, put a half a cap full and toss it in. If you've got six people in there for an hour, there's gonna be a lot more bacteria in there and you may wanna do two full cap fulls, put it in there. And anything that you do afterwards uh, will help knock down the bacteria and keep your water clean and clear like it is here. If you have other questions, you can call our showroom at 631-465-0175. Our website is www.longislandhottub.com. And I'm Bill from Long Island Hot Tub, outdoor living expert.